guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I have part two of my Disney pin collection. So today is the second video in my three-part series showing all the different pins in my Disney pin collection. Definitely check out part one and hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload so you can see part three that will be coming out soon. I'm super excited to show you this part of my pin collection. This is the other half of the pins that are on pin boards in my room. So it's my Frozen collection along with some of the side collections and limited edition pins that I have. So for part two, I'm going to start with some small side collections. So I have this sports collection. So it's got some ESPN Wide World of Sports pins. Um, and some different Mickey themed sports pins. So we got Goofy, Stitch, Mickey and Minnie. I just really love this board and it kind of represents the sports side of me. I also do have my Disney Channel collection. So we got High School Musical pins, some Hannah Montana, some Wizards of Waverly Place, just all the Disney Channel original classics, some Camp Rock, Phineas and Fur pins along with Where's My Water. And then on the bottom of this one, we do have my jumbo from the Finding Nemo um, anniversary. That's super cool. I do also have a pin board down here showing my 2019 completed series and the hugs completed series i do really love these pins and think they're super awesome the next set of pins is my frozen pins so this is my frozen collection i have the ice skate which i think is super awesome this one opens up and has anna and elsa in it um some different ones frozen 5k definitely has a lot of memories in my heart as i ran that race um the fifth anniversary some gingerbread ones. This one's also very cool. It opens up and has Anna in it. It's just like a really cool, like you wouldn't expect the inside based on the outside. I just think it's a super awesome. I think that's a Studio Store Hollywood pin. So these are definitely some really cool Frozen pins. It's a smaller collection of mine, but I still really do love Frozen. Then moving up, I do have some completed mystery sets. So I have a food and wine set, a popsicle set, uh, the purses, um, the Kingdom Cute, the first series at least. And then I have the some park badges, and then we go into some limited edition pins, some Miko's Munchies, some Fairy Tales, um, a movie strip. Then I have some Illuminations pins, um, it's Goofy, some more Fairy Tales, this park harp, rope drop, won't stop spring break pin. That's from the spring break. I was excited that I was able to actually get in my spring break trip. I know a lot of people weren't. Graduation pins, some fall, winter. Um, this is one of my... El Capitan pins. I love this pin. It's G-Force. It's actually kind of one of my favorite Disney movies. It's like so underrated, but I love that movie. Beauty and the Beast, I Heart Gaming, Food and Wine pins, some winter pins. I'm still missing the One Chaser Lady from this puzzle piece, but I do love My Lady and the Tramp puzzle set. So a lot of Food and Wine pins, Flower and Garden, and some winter pins. This is kind of where I put all my LE pins. This is an awesome one. It's Splash Mountain. It's very cool. That was a Disneyland pin. I do love all of these different pins and I love adding the different limited edition pins to this board. So this is kind of my more random part of my collection. It's got my limited edition pins, my sets, obviously my frozen pins, and some of my small side collections. But definitely check out the other two videos in the series to see the other parts of my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this part of my collection. Definitely like this video if you did. And check out the playlist at the end where I explain to you some of the pin trading basics about pin trading online and in the parks. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!